Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I got my Beyonce shirt on today. I'm going to the Renaissance tour and I'm just so damn excited. I've never been to a Beyonce concert before. Um, we're gonna do our makeup while I talk. This is like a little catch up, like get ready with me, you know. So yeah, I'm super excited. Me and my best friend Alessandra are going and I've never seen her in concert before. I've seen Bad Bunny. I've been to Wisin Andel. I've been to a J-Lo concert. I'm also going to see um, Karol G. I think in September. I think it's in September or August. I'm not even sure. So first I'm going in with the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow Skin Tint. This has been like my thing this summer. This is like all I've been wearing. And I'm using this little buffing foundation brush by e.l.f. It's really good. Also, I got a new camera, guys. I'm so freaking excited. I got this new like vlogger camera because I didn't want to keep using my phone like it's just not the greatest quality um, when it comes to like uploading on YouTube and stuff like it's good but I wanted something great you know I wanted like a vlogger camera so I actually got this on Amazon and I will leave the link in the description box because um, it actually is like a content creator kit like it came with a tripod and it also came with a memory card so it was like really cool. Yes, I know that this is like a really tan shade, but the rest of my body is super tan. I'm pr I promise you. Like my body gets so tan. My shoulders are so tan. So I need to like match, match up, you know? It all comes together. It'll all come together, okay? So I just wanted to say thank you guys also for like subscribing and watching my first video that i posted and i'm just i'm so excited to be back on youtube and like back in this space i really missed it and there's just like so much more now like you can add little shorts which look like reels and it's a lot different than when i was on before so I'm really looking forward to it now i'm just gonna bronze the face a little bit i'm using the makeup by mario um this is their shaping stick, the contour stick in light medium. I love, love this contour stick. I use it for like bronzing really, but it is the bomb. It's a little pricey. Like I got it at Sephora, but I promise you, y'all know, like I only get like pricey good things if I know they're good. You know, usually I stick to like um, drugstore products and stuff like that, but this is like phenomenal um, and I use it all the time, so. So I just blend, blend, blend. It's like the key to all, all your makeup. Blend that bitch out. Like, look at that. It just gives you like a nice, healthy looking bronzed glow. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited. This is like my one of my favorite albums from Beyonce. I'm actually thinking about doing a birthday party, like a Beyonce Renaissance themed birthday party where everyone shows up as their favorite Beyonce, like from the album. Cause I saw someone do it on TikTok and it looks so freaking fun. We'll be like moved into the new house by then. So I'm probably just gonna do like a housewarming slash my birthday, because why not? <laughs> I'm just gonna do like a fast, simple look cause I have to create some content today. So now I'm going in, this is, an, oh, this is also another Makeup by Mario product. This is the a soft plump, soft pop plumping, I'll say that five times fast. Soft pop, soft pop, mm, soft pop plumping blush veil, cream blush. And this is in the shade Pinch Me Pink. So when I tell you this shade rocks my socks. So I'm using this little complexion duo brush by e.l.f. You can use this side for concealer to like blend out concealer. And then I use this side for uh, cream blush and stuff like that and liquid blush as well. This is a really great brush for both of those things. It's so pretty, look at that, the pigment. Oh my God. I also like to take my blush all the way up to like my temple. So I always kind of plop on a ton of blush because I know that like throughout the day, it's not gonna look like that anymore. Like, and I really want it to stay as much as possible. I'm gonna top it off with like a, a powder. So just be aware of that as well. But look at how pretty it is. Like it gives you like a really nice, glow to the skin Woo! this camera is rocking okay so now i'm gonna go in with this concealer flower cosmetics get real serum concealer this has been my baby y'all like this concealer is so freaking good and correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like flower beauty products were once in um walmart and now i can't find it there anymore now i can only get their products like at ulta online 
I had bought some flower beauty products from Walmart and now when I go back to look for it, they're not there anymore. So I'm a little sad about that, but um, I'm not even sure if they have it at Ulta. Like I've went to Ulta too to see if they had a section there and my Ulta doesn't even have it. So, so now I'm going to do the concealer. I do the concealer last because I kind of want the blush to like look like it's under the concealer. Like it looks like it's coming out from within. I don't know how else to explain it, but I just, I kind of just like to do my concealer after my blush. And then if I want to add a little bit more, I just take that same brush and just like go on top over with it. It gives like a nice brightness, a nice glow, but also like covers up really well. And there you go. I also really like a, like a, a bright under eye. I know that's like an old trend. I do what I want and I love me a bright under eye. Really nice, well put together. Oh, so the brows, I did them off camera because they take me a little while. So I used the NYX, um, the brow glue. It's so freaking good. And then I use this little, the e.l.f. I have, all my brushes are like from e.l.f. They're so good. The e.l.f. Brow Lift Applicator. So it comes with a spoolie, a little brush at the end, one end. And then this is like a little spatula thing. So when I am putting the glue on, I'll go over that. And it kind of like laminates them a little bit and it looks so good that's like my trick so if you're using brow glue i highly recommend getting this brush and then when you lay it down it just looks so nice and feathered out and it looks like you have laminated brows i feel like life has been a little crazy we're still finishing up this damn house the carpet is getting put in this week they're also putting on the countertops and stuff like that i'm gonna put on some powder this is the maybelline fit me loose setting powder my favorite powder of all time and then i have to set i always have to set like my face a lot i can never just leave it like that because my face is like it gets really oily really fast so i'm just gonna set that it's looking real good girls we be looking real good things are looking real up over here i'm also really upset because the vanity that we got for vivi's bathroom um, it arrived and it was broken like well not broken but it was like all scratched up like the box was broken it was all fucked up so it caused a lot of scratches and things on the vanity and the guy that delivered it was like i wouldn't even accept this so we didn't accept it and we called them and they're sending us another one but so i don't even know if that's been delivered yet so we're like waiting on that otherwise everything is done like the painting the painter just finished with all the painting yesterday like the final touches, everything. And then the flooring has been done. Like we're just getting all the vanities and stuff in and then finishing our master bath too. Like our bathroom is what's taking the longest because we decided to have like a fucking 15 foot shower. But yeah, this is like the time where I'm getting like real like antsy. Like I just want to move in already. I'm just like really anxious. Okay, so these, this right here, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Blush in the shade Confident Pink. Go to Walmart and get this right now. Go to Walmart, go to Target, go to your local, local drugstore. I don't know, where that, wherever the hell they sell them. Ulta, Ulta Online. Grab this because I can tell you right now, it is the best blush you will ever wear. I freaking love this blush so much. Girl, let me show you. It's really pigmented, so you gotta... Like, really be careful. I'm gonna put this like right on top. Look at that. Do you see? Girl, do you see that? Miss Ma'am. Oh my gosh. She's not here to play. Okay, I put like way too much on this. I use a beauty blender as like a, basically like a little eraser. So that's like the good thing about her. And I love blush. I told you guys, blush is like one of those first things that goes away. So don't be afraid to pack on the blush. I am not afraid. I for one am not fucking afraid. But the thing about this blush is it really lasts. It really lasts long. Like it is a matte blush. It is a matte blush. So it like really sticks on there. So it's good to go over like a cream blush, like what I just did. It's amazing and it's so affordable. Well, I mean, I think it's like 15 bucks. So I think for drugstores, that's kind of steep. They're kind of getting a little crazy. I will say like the quality has gotten so much better like, as far as like drugstore makeup. So Y'all know I'm the queen of drugstore makeup. Like I just love drugstore makeup. It is possible to get like a beautiful, you know, like a, a great face of makeup for like a 
really low affordable price you know like you don't have to spend all your money at ulta and sephora and all stuff you can literally go to walmart target like that's where i get a majority of my makeup y'all but that's just because i'm the drugstore queen and then this is another great drugstore product this is the physician's beauty butter bronzer she's a great bronzer i've been using her for years i use like a big fluffy brush this is like a really old morphe brush i need to actually just get a whole ton of new brushes and then i just like bronze up the face nice and bronze i just put like a little bit here a little bit here i really care more about the blush how the blush looks than i care about the bronzer honestly like i want the blush to be the star of the show always not really precise as you can see with like my makeup i kind of just do my makeup just to like get it done and that's it like i'm not a precise person but i have been doing makeup for so long so everything just kind of comes like second nature to me right now so then I'm just going to take a nice highlighter. I'm using this uh, Real Techniques brush. This is like, it's supposed to be a um, concealer brush, but I use it as a highlighter, highlighter brush. You're going to use your highlighter on like the high points of the face. So like right, you see like where the light is hitting. I'm just emphasizing where the light hits my face with some nice highlighter. Like you see how that light is hitting? Because I have a little light box here. So I'm just going to, boom, right over that, right on the brow bone. And I am still a highlighter bitch. I will always wear a highlighter. You can't stop me. Highlighter will forever be that girl in my book. <laughs> and then this is the Make, the Make It Last Milani Setting Spray. Just spray some of that, especially after you're done using all your powders. This is just gonna lock everything in, make sure that everything lasts. And then I just kind of go over that with a beauty blender because sometimes you can leave those little drizzles on your face. Bitch, you can't tell me this hat is not fire. I'm wearing it to Beyonce concert. <laughs> oh my God. Should I wear it for the video? No, let me take it off. My camera died, so I had to charge it for a little bit, but I'm back and I'm gonna try and finish up this makeup look as fast as I can. So where were we? Okay, I don't know if I said this before, but um, I probably did. I'm always all over the place. Once I start talking, I can't stop. But I wanted to thank every single one of you for subscribing to my new channel. It really sucks. I was like not able to recover my old channel. So I don't know if you guys remember, but back then for YouTube, you were allowed to um, have like a email with pretty much anything like Yahoo, whatever you could sign up for like YouTube with anything. But now you can only log into YouTube with a Gmail account. So when I first started my YouTube, I didn't have a Gmail account. I did it with a Yahoo account, but that was years ago. It was so long ago. Um, and I totally forgot that email. Like I forgot the password. I forgot everything. I even forgot the questions that I like wrote in for it, like to recover the account. Like it's completely lost. Um, I've tried to get it back and it's just not, it's not, not a thing. So I had to start completely from scratch and it was heartbreaking because I had like 35,000 subscribers already on there like I had built that platform for years you know I'm also not like I wasn't like pressed about it I was like you know what we'll just start fresh like I know you know the people that follow me and like love me and my content they'll come along you know on their own terms so I'm not like looking into like numbers and things like that like yeah it was nice to like be monetized on there <laughs> Now I have to kind of restart the process. Like I have to have a certain amount of views and like subscribers just to even get monetized on here. But I was like, I just, I mean, it's nice. It's nice to have, but I was like, I just really wanted to start this so I can just get back to doing long form content. Like I just like making content, you know? So that was the main thing I was focused on. I knew I wanted to do like all the house stuff on here. Also, this is the Lash, this is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Chef's Kiss, it's my favorite. But yeah, I'm just excited and thank you guys for being here because you don't really have to be here, you know, but you are and um, I appreciate it, of course. So I am actually filming my Beyonce concert outfit ideas. So I really wanted to use this eyeliner. Let me see if I have it. Typically, I would just leave my eyes like this. Actually, let me do the bottom lashes a little bit. Why do we always make this stupid ass face when we're doing our our lash our mascara? I can't, I can't, I can't even look at myself. I look so dumb. So I'm gonna use this little silver um, liner because I really want to give it like 
sparkly, smoky vibes. Normally I wouldn't do this at all. I don't even put like eyeliner on anymore, but since I'm about to create content for this Beyonce concert outfit ideas, this kind of like, I saw this and I was like, ooh, this goes really nice with what I'm wearing. See, this is so nice. It gives your eye like a nice little smoky, smoky fat effect. We love a good smoky eye. And then I'm probably gonna put like, add a little rhinestones, but I'm not gonna do all that today. I'll do all that the day of the concert. Brings out my eyes a lot. And then I'm just gonna pop some highlighter in the corners like this. Okay, <laughs> so I ended up putting my lipstick on. I didn't film it. I'm gonna show you guys what lipstick I used. Okay, so the concoction is the KKW Beauty. This is Kim K's brand, and I know she doesn't have it anymore, but she did announce that she's coming back, I think, next year. So I'm so excited because honestly, her lip liners and her lipsticks, the fucking best. I'm telling you, they were like one of the best on the market, my favorite. I'm literally holding on to these liners and her lipsticks for dear life because I wasn't sure if she was coming back again with her makeup line, but I know she is. So now I've been using them like crazy. So this is the KKW. This is the lip liner Honey 1. And then this is the ColourPop Cosmetics Lippy Stick in the shade Dream Date. That is like a really, oh my God, not with the hairs on it. Okay, Jaclyn Hill. So that is like a really pretty nude. This is the one that I use all the time. Like I am obsessed with this lippy stick, it's the best nude. And then I'm using the MAC. This is the MAC lip gloss, lip glass in the shade see-through. So this is like a really nice nude too. So put that over and like, look how pretty. So this is like my favorite lip combo at the moment. It goes with like everything. This is one of the outfits that I think I'm going to wear for the Beyonce concert. It's giving, I don't, even, I don't even know. It's, it's just, it's giving. But that's not all. There's more. My office is a mess right now. Like, tell me this isn't a fucking fit. Like, it looks so fucking good. The only thing is, like, I have to trust this with my life that it won't snap or it won't break. Because if not, I have no top. But I think I'm just going to take an extra top just in case. Because, you know, I'm a Virgo, so I have to plan ahead. But I think this is the winner, guys. I was going to wear, like, my sneakers and be comfy. And then we also have this purse. I know this is a damn mess right now. I had to get everything. Everything was like in the Shein bag, so I just took everything out really quick just so I can make the video. But this is this is not a representation of my life, I swear. This is one of the purses. This is also one of the tops, but it is so, so like short. Like my boob is literally falling right under and it's so tight, so it doesn't really fit. So I'm not gonna do that one. This belt I had bought, which is really cute. I'm contemplating if I wanna wear that or not. This cute little bralette I had. And then you put this, it's kind of like a little shirt that lays over it. It's so freaking cute. And then these are the rhinestones that I'm gonna use on my eyes. I literally just took the camera out of its thing also. So it comes with, this is like a vlogger kit that it comes with. So it comes with a tripod and it also comes with a memory card. But yeah, this all came together in a kit on Amazon. So I will leave the link in the bio for you guys. I have to clean my office up and I have to like change and edit this video and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back and my office is now super clean. I'm eating lunch right now. I'm about to go pick up BB from camp. Um, and I put on this cute little romper. It's like a cute little dress. It looks like a dress, but it actually has shorts. I got this from Shein too, cause your girl. I just finished editing the Beyonce concert fits so you guys can it's probably up on Instagram so you can go check that out now but I'm gonna finish my lunch and the next vlog will be the Beyonce concert and me going to New Jersey because I gotta go to Jersey to go to the concert so I'm gonna vlog while I'm there I hope that you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe comment I'll be back next time bye guys